All right, so today's a good day because I've actually never shot HLG on the GH5. And today's the day where I'm finally gonna shoot HLG and I'm gonna compare it with some vlogs. It's nothing fancy, so let's set up some shots and we'll see how these go. I have your face down in the corner of my shot. That's kind of funny. My fingers are like so frozen, I can't move them. So I have to like hit all these buttons. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I've been doing freelance video production since 2012. But this channel is to help you make your own videos, whether you just started or you've been doing it for a while, whether you use the GH5 or any other camera. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Vlog test of the goose. Hyper log gamma. Hybrid. Oh, hybrid log gamma. <laughs> hyper log gamma. <laughs> Is it hyper log gamma or hybrid log gamma? So let me know down in the comments. How often do you shoot with HLG? Do you like using it? Would you prefer vlog? Do you like natural? Let me know those things down in the comments. Everything here, I'm just gonna be tossing on like a, a, a leaming LUT for these because I'm not gonna spend a lot of time messing around with these shots in post. I wanna see what the shots look like you know, straight out of camera and then with the leaming LUT on. So the most important things that you're gonna want are your white balance correct, and then you're gonna wanna have your exposure as close as possible to correct, you know, even that exposed to the right, that kind of concept. And having those, with HLG and with V-Log, having those things set in camera, those are the pretty much the most important parts. So I'm using a variable ND filter as well to kind of compensate some of the um, some of the exposure. I have my zebra stripes for HLG set at 90%. Now with V-Log, I've got my zebras set at 80%. You can either have it set at 80% or 75%. There's not a huge difference between those two. I think the Liming LUT recommends having it, the exposed to the right at 80%. So one of the things that you might want to actually use as an external monitor, I know not everybody has external monitors, so I'm not using one for this video for these sample shots, but it might be good to get an external monitor just to kind of monitor your image a little bit because looking at this little screen on the GH5 is not the ideal situation for testing out some of these vlog shots. So really you're basing these vlog shots on your zebra stripes. And that's really all I'm exposing from. For this video, for these sample shots, that's really all I'm exposing from are the zebra stripes. Um, I'm actually shooting in Cinema 4K at 150 megabytes, 422, 10-bit at 23.98 in the MOV file. So I'm trying to keep my aperture kind of around that 4.0, 4.0 to 5.6. Lenses normally kind of perform best in those ranges. And the native ISO on the GH5 is 400. So with V-Log, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere under 400, but you're gonna get the best ISO performance on the GH5 at that 400. Nate, thanks for being in this video.
All right, so there you go. It's not very scientific, but this is just a you know, shot comparison. The HLG, not Hyperlog Gamma, Hybrid Log Gamma, versus the V-Log on the GH5. Let me know what you think of some of these shots that I've had. You know, we've had some uh, graded shots, just straight out of camera shots, and then with the Leeming LUT in here as well. So let me know what you think with some of these shots down in the comments. Now, if you have time, it'd be awesome if you stuck around, maybe watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right down in these corners. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.